I'm Mark Levitt, the archivist at the National Naval Aviation Museum, ready to serve you up some history direct from the library. In the exploits of naval aviation, it's often the pilots that capture our imagination when we think of these great flying machines. However, there are many enlisted personnel that support the pilots, not only for keeping the aircraft in the air, but also for keeping them safe so they can do their jobs in the cockpit. As part of VS-6, radio man Joseph F. DeLuca was a backseater in an SBD Dauntless. When he wasn't focused on the radio, he was manning the 30 caliber machine gun to fend off enemy fighters during his squadron sorties. DeLuca's combat experience actually began on December 7, 1941, when VS-6 launched from USS Enterprise on a routine scouting mission around the islands of Hawaii. Little did he or his squadron mates know that they would stumble upon the Japanese attack at Pearl Harbor. Fending off Japanese zeros around Iwa Island, he and his pilot were among the last to land at the airstrips, and DeLuca was assigned to ground defense for the rest of that day. Returning to the rear seat of an SBD, DeLuca went on to support and protect his pilot, Lieutenant Clarence Dickinson Jr., during many engagements in the Pacific Theater, as detailed in this aviator's flight log. These included Roy and Wake Island in February of 1942, Marcus Island in March, and culminated at the Battle of Midway in June of that, of that same year. At Midway, on their attack run with the second section of VS-6, Dickinson was able to score a direct hit on the Japanese carrier Kaga. Pulling up from that attack run, they were immediately beset by Japanese Zeros, and DeLuca was defending as they headed back to the Enterprise. Unfortunately, like many of their squadron mates, they ran off fuel before they could return to the carrier. Luckily, however, DeLuca and his pilot were able to reach the American task force before having to ditch at sea. Shortly thereafter, they were picked up by the destroyer USS Phelps, which was incidentally at the attack at Pearl Harbor. DeLuca was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his actions at Midway, specifically for taking all necessary steps to ward off the furious and continuous enemy attacks. Soon after Midway, DeLuca went on to earn his wings and became a commissioned officer. A little bit later, he was also awarded an Air Medal for his wartime service, this time as Lieutenant Junior Grade DeLuca. DeLuca's records and many more can be found in the archives here at the library in the Naval Aviation Museum, and I encourage you to reach out to learn more about U.S. Naval Aviation history. Thank you.